Right. Julie, here in uh, Israel, uh, some of the news that people in the United States might not know is a new law that's being proposed, and it actually might threaten the Netanyahu's coalition government. What is this new law, and what are the implications? Um, the, the, the law that's being called the Jewish law is basically enshrining in law um, Israel as a Jewish state. Uh, it doesn't really change anything for the citizens of Israel. Uh, Netanyahu said this is the most vibrant democracy. Obviously, it's the only democracy mm -hmm. in the Middle East. It's not going to threaten the rights for, for Arab citizens, for Israeli Arabs, for other minorities in Israel. But it's going to enshrine certain things like um, Israel's national anthem, Hatikva, the hope, the Jewish hope. In, in law, that that would be the national anthem, and the right for Jews around the world to immigrate to Israel freely. So he really wants to make that clear, that, it, that this is a Jewish state. It is causing a lot of uh, division mm -hmm. here in Israel from the left. People are saying, why are you doing this now at a time when we really need to stand together? It's creating a lot of division. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know where it's going to lead. I, I, Netanyahu seems to think this is really the time he needs to, in, to right. propose this law. And apparently there might be a vote next week. And John, what do you think, given the current structure of the government and uh, the electoral map, as it were, what do you think is going to happen if they do go to new elections? Well, I think that the, the Prime Minister Netanyahu may feel for national security reasons that he needs to have a more cohesive government. Instead of this constant backbiting over uh, various issues, he may want to go to early elections because polls show his party doing very well in gaining seats and also some of the, the religious parties, neo-religious parties, who would take a, a strong Zionist stance, they also would gain seats. And that would be trouble for the Obama administration but it might help Netanyahu shore up his government and not have this internal bickering at a time of extreme national security importance for Israel, whether, whether it's the Palestinian attacks in Jerusalem, whether it's Iran's nuclear weapons, whether it's ISIS in Syria and Iraq, all these problems Netanyahu needs to not be it, brushing flies away all the time, and that seems to be a lot of what he has to do. So I can understand he would be tempted to do it. I know Israelis are not ready for uh, elections. They wouldn't really like to see it happen, but it may happen, and, and Netanyahu may be doing it for some non-political security reasons. That's right. Well, we'll see what happens next week uh, if and when this comes to a vote. And uh, so, John, thanks for joining us uh, in Virginia Beach. And Julie, thanks for joining us here in the Jerusalem Bureau.